Ramanathan, Dr. Robbie George, and the Chief of Vascular Surgery at the Narayana Institute of Vascular Sciences. So, the last one and a half years has been a very uh, difficult year for all of humanity with COVID. And as vascular surgeons, so we are people who specialize in treating diseases of the blood vessels. So we've seen a huge increase in the complications associated with blood flow. And a lot of this is associated with and driven by COVID. The initial impression of COVID was that it is a disease of the lungs and breathing. But what we've learned later on is it is actually a disease of the blood vessels. And when the blood vessels in the lungs get blocked is when you land up with problems with breathing. But in addition to that, we see a lot of patients who come to us with blocked blood flow to the legs, to the hands, to the brain, getting either a stroke or gangrene. And this sometimes happens when the patient is in hospital getting treated for COVID. And unfortunately, it can happen even some weeks after they are discharged, after they've recovered. And in a lot of these patients, we've had to do major kind of surgery, removing the clot, trying to restore the blood circulation. And unfortunately, in some patients, a complication like this can be life-threatening. A lot of patients have lost arms and legs because of this. So how do we prevent this? So fortunately, it's not very common, but it is probably as common as the black fungus, which everybody gets worried about after COVID. In terms of preventing, it is important that you ensure that you take all the medications that are prescribed to you. If you've got any coexistent heart disease, diabetes, or you're a smoker, you probably should be on a blood thinner. And that's something worth discussing with your doctor. And these blood thinners should probably carry on for at least six weeks to three months after you've finished your COVID treatment. But in general, if you have any suspicion after COVID that you're getting cold hands and feet or any discoloration, please seek medical help as quickly as you can. Thank you.